Welcome back. This is where things start getting exciting because you've gone through the logistics and the legwork of creating a hosting account and a domain name and a lot of new terminology with name servers and a little confusing, maybe even a little frustrating. But this is where things start getting fun. You are now building a website. If you've been following along, you go to the same part I'm at now where your domain is, is resolving to your site where you've installed WordPress and you're seeing something that might look like this. Now, depending on the hosting company you chose, uh, your default website or WordPress website might look a little different because of something called themes, which we'll, we will explore later. But by and large, you should have something like this. So there's the, the name of your site, um, just another WordPress site, recent posts, which are showing up here, recent comments. Uh, you've, you've seen on blogs how people can leave comments. You've might left some comments yourself. Um, archives, so it's automatically archived by month. Um, in the middle here, you can see the actual sort of sample uh, post that's there. And somewhere on your menu, you should have a sample page. It might be up top here, it might be down the left, depending on your theme. But if I click that, I get a sample web page. Um, now we're going to look at the difference between posts and pages uh, later on in, a, in an upcoming lecture. But I just want you to navigate around your first website here a little bit and, and find your post, find your page. Um, and when you click on the top or the name of your site, it should take you back to, to kind of the home page. Um, note when I go to sample page, uh, you can see it changes here in my URL bar. So I'm at slash sample page. Um, and if I go here, it'll go to the root of my site with no subdirectory. Um, and if I go into that post, you'll see it, it's going into the post where it's got a date format, 2014, 9, 16, hello world. So just play around, click around a little bit and see how that goes. Now, let's start editing your site. When you did your quick install, it gave you the link to your admin area, as well as the username and password. So hopefully you saved that in a safe place. Um, so click that link to go to the administration area, and then we will log in. The administration area looks like this. So my user ID and password, and do that and I can log in. So do the same on yours. You can pause the video if necessary, and you will get to this um, WP admin, and this is your dashboard or your administration console where we're gonna be building the website. It looks like a lot of information, you know, and, and a little bit confusing. Um, don't worry about any of this. We're gonna walk through the most important features that you need right now. So I want you to do the same. In your browser, I want you to have two tabs, one tab, is sort of the front end of your website, what your users see, and the tab next to it be the place where you logged in to your into your WP admin, into your administration console of WordPress. So that so you can switch between them, and as we make changes, you can see it. So looking at the main menu, um, you know, this is the dashboard, which is what we're looking at now. There's the posts where we can add a post, edit a post, add media such as video and images add pages. And again, we'll explore the difference between posts and pages uh, in an upcoming video. Comments, this is where you can moderate comments. So if people leave comments on your on your web page or your blog that you don't like, um, you could come in here and delete them or delete spam, etc. or reply to comments. The marketplace is where you're going to be able to find additional uh, features to enrich your WordPress website. Appearance, this is uh, where you can select, for example, themes or customize the current look, add widgets, and we'll certainly be covering a lot of that. That's basically your look and feel. If your site wasn't looking the same as my website, then it's probably because your WordPress install gave you a different theme. So while we're here, let's just go ahead and set your theme to be the same as my theme. Again, the theme is the look and feel, and we'll be doing a lot of theme work in this course, but for right now, I just want you to be on the same theme as I am. So select the theme option under appearance. And this is the list of themes you have installed. Mine will look a little different to yours because of the fact that mine is, uh, you know, I've been using this one. Um, but the ones that come with WordPress are typically 2012, which you can see here, 2013 and 2014. Um, 2014 is the one I'm using. So if you have something else active, please go ahead and activate the 2014 theme. 
If you don't see the 2014 theme, let's go ahead and find it and install it for you. Click the Add New, then click Browse, and then on the right hand side you're in the search box, just search for 2014 and that should be the first one that comes up here. Mine says already installed. If you don't have it, you'll have the option here to install it. Go ahead and click install and then on your themes, go ahead and click activate after you've installed it. When you, that is when you've installed it, you'll see it here and you can just go ahead and click activate. Now your website will look exactly like my website. Again, don't get too confused about this. We'll be doing a lot of work with themes. Right now, I'm just took you through the steps to make sure that your theme is the same as my theme. Plugins is one of the most powerful features behind WordPress. This is going to allow you to add new functionality. And there are thousands and thousands of plugins available. So for practically anything you can imagine, if you were like, gee, I wish my site could offer A, B and C or do this. Uh, certainly you can probably find a plugin that's going to meet your requirement. Uh, many, many plugins are actually absolutely free uh, and some are on a donation basis and some are paid plugins. So we'll, we'll explore those. Users will leave for a later section, tools and then settings. Now I want you to go ahead and click settings um, and go into the general part of settings. And here you can see your site title and your tagline. Now if we go back to the daily host deals page here, See this just another WordPress site? That was my tagline that was defaulted when I installed WordPress. So let's go into general settings um, and let's change this to my new daily deals site. And let's go ahead and click save changes. And we see a confirmation that the settings were saved. So if we go back to this site, we click refresh, take a look what happens. We now see my new daily deal site. So you can see how instantly I changed the setting here in my dashboard, hit save, and that's what my users will now see when they go visit my site. We can change the title as well, daily host deals to make your life better. And I'll hit save changes. Let's go back here and hit refresh. And sure enough, the title has now changed. Daily host deals to make your life better. My new daily deal site. So, okay, so that's working so far so good. Now, let's look at posts for a second. Click on the posts menu link. And it's going to give you a list of all the posts that are currently there. And again, if I flip back to my website, remember we saw this hello world and it's under recent posts, hello world. So let's go back here and that's that's the one, that's the post, hello world. So let's click edit and you'll see the default text. Let's just delete that text and type this is, whoops, this is my first post in WordPress. The site is going to, to be awesome and come over here and click update. And it says post updated. Now let's go back over here, hit refresh. And look at that. This is my first post in WordPress. The site is going to be awesome. So we're already getting the hang of sort of editing what's there. Um, let's go do the same thing with the pages. Let's click pages in the admin console, you see there's one page already there called a sample page. And we said we could access it on our site by going here to this sample page. And, and there's the text. So let's go take a look. Let's edit that one. And it brings up all the text. Let's delete all of that and say, this is my first page. This content should appear on my website. And we will click the update button here. Now let's go back and let's hit refresh. And there it is. This is my first page, the content should appear on my website. So very cool. We've created we've looked at editing the post, which is over here, the Hello World post. 
and we've looked at editing the sample page. So you're going to spend a lot of your time within WordPress under these posts and pages to add new posts, add new pages. And we will explore when you want to use posts and when you want to use pages in the next section. But I just wanted you to get comfortable starting to edit your site with these existing posts and pages that come with it uh, and start seeing how when you update it, you can immediately see the changes over here. So in the next lecture, let's explore the difference between posts and pages.